Hello everyone, it's a new week and we have a new video, so today we will turn over together this beautiful cabinet. We will start as usually by giving our piece a very good cleaning. So I'm using a brush to get all the dirt away from those molds. And just remember, you are not allowed to skip the cleaning process. This is very, very important. I'm using Slick Stick by Dixie Bell uh, as my primer for those metal bar on my glass. A Slick Stick is a gripping primer and you want to use it uh, when you want to paint over metal, over uh, plastic or over glass. Even though I hate to remove the glass, uh, but this time I will have to because otherwise when you open the door you will see that part unpainted and this is not looking good. You always want to be very careful when removing glass because uh, you don't want to broke it. Since I'm going to paint this piece in yellow, I will use uh, some primer. And for the outside of the piece, I'm using Dixie Bell's Boss in color white. I applied two coats of Boss on the outside and also uh, on the flat surfaces, I switched to a roller because this is easier and very fast. I used my brush to get in all those crevices and molds. Since I'm going for a very smooth finish, I'm lightly sanding my primer before I start with the paint. And I'm using some uh, 240 grit sandpaper for this. My client wanted a yellow piece. So we choose together the corner mustard by Dixie Bell, which is a very deep yellow. It's like a yolk yellow. And to be honest, this is my first time trying this color. Uh, there are some things that you need to know about the yellow colors. Yellow along with red is uh, the most difficult to apply color because uh, it requires multiple, multiple coats, uh, up to three coats, maybe four, it depends uh, on your piece. I have to confess that I was a little bit shocked when I started to apply this paint because it is so bold, it's so bright. Uh, this is the boldest color that I used so far, but the result is stunning. So wait to see until the end. To be honest, I don't know how many coats I applied on these pieces. Uh, on some parts, I applied even five or six coats. As I told you before, this uh, color is very hard to apply. In total, I used a can uh, of about 450 milliliters or something like this. Uh, when you want to get a smooth finish, you have to use water and you also have to work in long strokes. Uh, 
after I was done with my first coat, I saw some cracks. They are not really cracks. It's like the part where two parts of a piece are coming together uh, and they are not looking good when uh, you are painting. So I, was, I used some filler just to fill in those, um, those spaces. Uh, just make sure that your filler is paintable. I mean that you can paint over this. For the inside of the piece, I used Dixie Belle's uh, fluff, which is uh, slightly off-white. And this color, guys, has an amazing coverage. So I got like a full coverage with only two coats, but I applied three just to be sure. As you maybe saw in my other videos, I prefer to lightly sand between the coats uh, when I'm going for a smooth finish and I'm using a very high grit sandpaper. I have this vinyl wallpaper for a while in my stuff and I was just waiting for the perfect piece to use it on it and this piece was exactly what I needed. This wallpaper is self-adhesive and it was pretty easy to use. Now that we are done with the painting, the wallpaper is in place, it's time for some protection. As usually, I applied three coats of wax on the top and I also applied three coats on the bottom uh, part because this is the part um, that can be damaged uh, with the vacuum cleaner, with uh, robots and stuff like this. And I just want to play safe. I spray painted uh, the drawers uh, hardware, but for the doors, I just sprayed some paint on a plastic plate and applied with a brush. And here it is, my beautiful sunflower. I'm in love, guys. This is definitely one of a kind piece of furniture. If you like it, give me some thumbs up, leave me a comment below and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.